if you really wanted to make an artistic statement and make an impression, you might consider doing a four measure phrase where three, two, two, three, three, two, three, boom. Three, two, three, boom. You don't necessarily crescendo, but how do you make your roll expressive without crescendoing? You can change roll speed and roll density. You can go from threes or fours to fours and fives. You could be changing the number of strokes or the number of rebounds per stroke. And you can also then be changing the number of strokes per beat. So a few different ways to alter that. One, I'll keep my strokes the same through that roll now uh, in terms of speed of stroke, but I'll just increase the density by increasing the back pressure of my fingers slightly. That one sounds like this. So you can hear that there's some musical intention going in a direction. Doesn't necessarily crescendo. You're making sure that you're not fully crescendoing through that roll. Now here's one where I'm gonna stick with a denser roll, but I'm gonna change my roll speed. I'm gonna go from maybe fours to fives and then sixes. So 16th note pulse and then increasing. Again, a different way, and then blending those two ideas together for real musical expression. That'll come into play a little bit later as we talk about fourth movement of Capriccio Espanol, a big solo drum roll. And so the underlying.